Um, I'm going to introduce um, Alex Jacob Whitworth now, and I'm going to uh, invite Alex to, if you like, to set the context as I'm sure you're going to. I think all I'm going to say here that this is this what you're about to describe, Alex. We would all agree was one of the the, the most um, well, just a really very special weekend uh, of young people coming together. Um, and we also don't we uh, need to thank and would like to thank uh, the Quaker Guest House, uh, the Welcome Project and the Children's Society for making it possible, but, but particularly to you, Alex, for, for being the, the inspiration through the weekend. So um, over to you, Alex, to, to set the scene and, and tell the story. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you very much for those um, kind words. I'm hoping everybody can hear me, so I'll just um, rattle on. Um, hopefully these pictures won't take too long to load because I think they're quite important to what, what we did over the weekend. Um, very brief introduction is that I'm an, um, an artist and I've had an interest in Dorothy Wordsworth for quite a few years now and um, took the role of Dorothy when we, we did a, a very weather-filled walk up Scarfell Pike, um, gosh it's three years ago now I think, which is quite scary. So I'll try and introduce this project um, and it's, it's been quite difficult to write about. The, the weekend because um, I can use the words to describe it but it's it's going to be quite difficult to get the whole picture across. Um, I think all those who were involved in the weekend found it quite transformative um, using words such as incredible, amazing and uplifting. Um, so early in September this year um, we had four young people visited Grassmere in the Lake District for the first time they'd never visited before. Um, they'd started their lives in different parts of the world and were now living in the north. And this was their first visit to the Lake District. And they were joined with some MA students from the University of Cumbria. Um, and the idea was to have a weekend where we literally walked in the footsteps of, of Dorothy Wordsworth. Um, so we all met in um, Grasmere and the young people were introduced to Dorothy Wordsworth. Some of the MA students knew who she was, the four visitors didn't. So we were trying to sum up Dorothy briefly and then give them an immersive weekend so they could make the same connections is what I wanted. Um, as she did that same connection to place and I wanted to make the same connection um, from person to person and to place. Um, so over the weekend, and I would say next slide here, but we're struggling to get one up <laughs> as far as I can see. <laughs> um, they walked where she had walked, up there slide two. Um, they listened to her words directly in the places that she'd actually written about. Um, they dressed in period costume, and they stayed in Grasmere so they could wake to the sounds of the valley. They made new friends um, and they were helped to respond creatively to what they saw and they felt and experienced. Um, the idea was that they could make connections with her who had lived there over 200 years ago and had loved the valley and its people. And Dorothy had expressed her creative force through writing. And this weekend struck chords in ways that the young people and, and the rest of us could not possibly have imagined. Um, next slide, please, if it wants to come. So um, after introducing Dorothy, we went to the Gerwood Centre where Jeff gave an absolute brilliant, absolutely brilliant um, exposition of, of who, who Dorothy was and her writings. And he was showing us um, some of her actual journals, which was quite incredible. Um, and the pictures you saw earlier were just some of the young people trying out writing with a quill, which was quite an experience if you haven't done it before. Um, so then we walked up the um, we walked up behind Dove Cottage, and the young people were able to enjoy this very very similar views because it's not hugely different that Dorothy did, and I'd introduced them to um, watercolor painting, um, and we're asking people to when we got up there we had lunch and people did some painting from the landscape so you're engaging directly with the land um, even if it was your first time 
um, it, for, their, for a lot of them, it was the first time they'd ever painted. Uh, and they found that quite quite something to engage so directly like that. Um, next slide, please. Oh, we seem to have lost the slide, but don't worry. <laughs> we had, um, when we were, in, we were walking up behind Dove Cottage, one of the things that we did was we did some land art as well. So this was, rather than looking at the huge views, this was bringing us back down to really notice those tiny, tiny little details. Um, so people were just working with small things that they could find around them, which, which uh, and took some time to just to create some lovely little land art. Um, when we got back, we I was then asking everybody to make a diorama that was, I, we didn't really have um, an about, I suppose it was responding to um, their time on the walk and responding to the words in the journal. When we were out walking, we'd often stop in specific points and um, I would read from the journals. Um, they'd had a wonderful tour of Dove Cottage as well. And Tom Langridge, the engage, our engagement officer, had read some wonderful um, poetry as well, which was, was very, very moving. So I'm only showing you a couple of the boxes because we really want you to get and see the exhibition. And then you can have a much better idea um, of what they made. Um, so after we'd spent quite a long time making things, um, and sharing the words of Dorothy as well. The um, young people spent the evenings in the uh, guest house, Glen Thorne's Quaker guest house, and had quite a bit of reflection about the weekend. And they, they talked quite a lot about how moving they found it and how amazing was the word. Um, for the four young people who were visitors, English was not their first language, and I, they were learning very, very quickly, but amazing became the word of the weekend. I think. Um, so the second day, or rather the third day, we went for, can I have the next slide please, sorry. We went for a walk up into Easdale and this time we, you know, we stopped at specific points um, so that I could read from the journals. And I think that was quite powerful because I could point out the big rock that we were talking about earlier. I could point out the house where the Greens had lived. I could point out the fell um, where they'd sadly lost their lives. And I read some of the, um, the words to do with, with the greens as well. Um, there was this real sense of, of walking where she'd walked as well, because we were standing in the spot and looking at the things that she's referring to, even though she was there 200 years ago. We, we have, I think all of us were from quite, quite a long, lots of distances and we'd all come here. And I love that sense of um, the only thing separating us from Dorothy is what I call the thinness of time. Um, because the earth has just gone round. That's the only thing separating us really from those same experiences, looking at that same water. And when we got to this um, waterfall with a pool at the bottom, the next thing you knew, everybody's in it. <laughs> it was just really immersing themselves in the landscape and immersing themselves in their surroundings and there was such joy it's very difficult to get across the the excitement as well as the joy um and i think when we got back to uh, the learning center we got back to dove cottage can have the next slide please oh this is tom just uh reading some poetry which is incredible when you're outside um because being able to think about the words as they're actually formed in someone's mouth outside, talking about the place where you are, it's, it's very powerful indeed. It creates a deep connection. Um, next slide, please. So when we got home, home, home was a big theme of this weekend. When we got home, I think one of the last things I thought, everybody needs to get into costume because I know that's really, really powerful. And that was just brilliant. I mean, you can see here the spontaneous dancing that, that took place. Um, it was wonderful to watch the young people kind of change into this super confident version of themselves when uh, they were in costume. Really was quite magical. Thank you. Can I have the next slide, please? Uh, this is just a, a last shot. Um, the, the one that didn't load, 
I'll just say, because it's quite nice, in the one that didn't load, they're not looking at us, the audience. They were talking amongst themselves. And that was just lovely. Um, talking about the weekend or, I'm, obviously I don't know what they were talking about, but there was something very special about them in their costume, talking amongst themselves in a photograph. We had a final reflection on the weekend before everybody went home. Uh, and it had had a profound impact for everybody and their responses to this w welcome weekend will, I think, be remembered for always. And I'm just going to read you um, a few of the quotes from them. When I, I got in touch with them to ask about this talk and about the um, exhibition. Um, and the, the overwhelming theme that seemed to arise in the entire weekend was this sense of coming home, which was really lovely. So I'll just read some of those out to you, okay? It's a wonderful story we've made this weekend that we will have forever. In this wonderful place, it feels like home. The welcome we had, I feel like I've come home. Sometimes you have to leave a place and sometimes you cannot go back, but it will stay always in your heart. This weekend will stay always in my heart. I feel like I have my family here. I hope to bring my family back one day and maybe my future family. It's so incredible being here, meeting all of you. And I love the way you describe the poems and I love the wet and wet painting. Grasmere has been the best weekend I've ever had. I learned a lot from all of you and I was honored. I wish the time was longer but beautiful things are always short, so we know how beautiful they are. I'd like to finish with that one. Apart from one more thing, um, Dorothy said, when I came to Grasmere, I felt that it did me good. So I'd like to finish with, they came to Grasmere and it did them good. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Alex. If you just hang on just a second, uh, turn your camera on. It's just, um... Really, the words that you use there, joy, home, feeling, creativity, spontaneity. Um, mm. And what was special, wasn't it, was the young people, uh, the, the, the students, as it were, from the University of Cumbria, meeting the four people in yes. the picture and that wonderful synergy that, that came together. And, and I, I have an image of that weekend where two of the people were hugging each other. Uh, I think one was in tears because they'd been in the presence of Dorothy's journal. And, it, and it's yes. like it's the, it's, the, it's the journal with the place, with the words uh, and about the people too in the landscape. So it was it was a very life changing weekend for all of us, really, wasn't it? So. It was. It was. Um, I think it was all the different ingredients coming together. It's like you were using all we were using all of our senses and we were all connected to place mm. and that connected us all as people. Yeah, I think it's something that we would love to do again. And uh, if anybody is, is, is in the audience and, and feels that, you know, they would like to talk to us about that, um, please do, um, please do get in touch with us and, and let's see what, what we can do. That, that uh, line about uh, beautiful things are short reminds us of something that Lee said, didn't he, about the clouds moving, mm. that the, the beautiful things don't last. Um, thank you very much, Alex.